Hello. Welcome to the International. I'm going to give you a little tour of the school and we're going to start with the teacher's lounge. So, this is where our teachers hang out and uh, chill and discuss important things like our wonderful students. We have uh, Anne Sophia who teaches French and Danish as a second language. Maiken, who is our brilliant Danish and German teacher, and then we have our head of school, Cole. <laughs> so this is where we hang out. Let's go look at a classroom. This is one of our classrooms. I can see Bo is preparing an online class. I'm sorry to disturb you, Bo. <laughs> Hello. Hi. So we're doing online classes right now because of the corona crisis, so that's yeah. what both both doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go so look at our main facilities. The then you are asked to give a rule. So this is main. This is one of the places our students have to hang out. Sometimes with teachers playing pool. You're beating him, Paul? Of course. Of course you are. He's too behind right now, she said. <laughs> This is Noah, one of our students. Noah, can you tell our guests a bit about being a student at TI? Um, it's very nice being a student at TI because we have the international relationship, which means we have a lot of friends all around the world. And also we have the Cambridge classes, where we have all our classes in English, which is really nice. Okay, let's go look at the mezzanine. This is the mezzanine. This is where our students come to do some good old fashioned hygge, as we call it in Denmark. So basically they come here to have a cozy time, they play some PlayStation, maybe they read in the couches, just hang out and play some board games. So now we're gonna go look at one of our rooms, uh, as well as the student buildings. inside one of the student buildings where they live. We have three rooms in each corridor and we have four students living in each room but they're divided into two separate rooms which you're going to be able to see now. So this is one of the rooms. I'm standing in a little hallway now which they share all four of them as well as the bathroom in here. Let's go look at this room first. So we have two students living in here. As you can see, they kept it nice and tidy. Of course, we're cleaning as well, so that's help. And in here we have Lily. Hey, Lily. Hi. Lily is our Australian student, and she lives in here, in this nice room. And our students always try to make their rooms cozy and their own, with little decorations, as you can see. They decorate the walls a bit, uh, have pictures hanging up. And it's really nice to see how they all individualize their rooms. Now we're going to go check out our sports facilities. Let's go! We have excellent sports facilities because we actually share our facilities with a sports boarding school. So this is our big sports hall and now we're going to go through to our gym. This is our gym which gives our students and teachers the opportunity to work out whenever they want and really strengthening their body. Uh, 
we're just looking forward to the students being back so you can uh, play around with them in the thumping center, right, Mass? Yeah. <laughs> So this is one of the facilities that our students really, really love. They use it so much in the evenings as well, and not just when they're doing gymnastics or tumbling. Now we're going to go to our little gym hall. So this is our little gym hall. As you can see, it's sometimes used for yoga. We have the mirrors as well because we use it a lot for dance. We have some amazing uh, dance teachers at the school as well. Good job guys, looking great. <laughs> now, we are going to go and see if there's anyone who wants to say hello in the office. Hello. Hello. Here we have the headmaster trying to be one of our students. Uh, no, no, are you not doing, doing too well. <laughs> Good, let's go. This is our office, and I can see that our school mom, Susie, is here. Hello! Susie always takes care of who, well, basically everyone who needs it, but especially she takes care of any students who are sick or maybe going through a tough time. Yes. They can always come and have some hot elderberry juice if they want. <laughs> <laughs> also, a peppermint oil steam bath if they have a cough. She has a cure for everything. Yeah. And great advice as well. <laughs> See you, Susie. See you. So, this is our assembly hall. And Kim, you're here again. I am. You are everywhere. Yes. Hi, Susie. Hi, Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the big assembly hall here in Vidersø. Um, what sets after school apart from traditional international boarding schools is one of these things. It's, it's what we do together. It's, uh, we have storytelling, we have assemblies, we follow the news, we sing together. Um, so that's what we're going to do too. Uh, and we're going to do it in this room among others. So uh, not only academic challenges, academic teaching, but very much also personal development. So, all right. So now we're going to say hello to one of the most important groups here at the school, which is of course the kitchen staff. So here we have uh, our dining hall where we eat. These tables are filled with delicious food whenever we're eating. And we're going to see who's responsible for that now. Hello. 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 Hi. So, this is our kitchen staff. These are the ladies you need to be on friendly terms with. It's very important because they have the cookies. Hi. Hi. Every student uh, gets to have a turn in the kitchen, which just gives them a lot of practical experience life experience dealing with uh, cooking, cleaning, everything like that. So now we're going to go see if the janitors are home. They're also a very important group to be on friendly terms with. And then we're going to have our last stop, which is the physics lab. Maybe something's going on there. Hello, is anyone home? This is one of our janitorial staff. Again, very important people to be on friendly terms with because they can help with basically anything. They've helped me out a few times too. See you. <laughs> Let's go to the physics lab. Well, hello, Dennis. Hello. What's going on in here? Anything dangerous? Nothing dangerous, but it's something interesting. Oh, what are you doing? You will see some. You will hear some sound and see some play. Oh, do I need to stand back? No, no, no. It's nothing dangerous. Uh, of course, face safety first, even though it's not so dangerous. Uh, we have magnesium pow uh, powder here, and then we'll put some acid, and then we'll see a reaction, and we'll hear a popping sound. But it happens very fast. So let's see. First of all, I'll just drop the powder magnesium. 
before putting down the acid, I will just light a match because it happens really fast. very fast and they were at the room temperature and now the temperature is rising as well. The popping sound says that okay this has hydrogen inside. That's the indicator of that. Okay, thank you Dennis. Learning okay. something today. So this is the physics lab physics lab and that was one of our physics teachers. This was actually the end of our tour. We've showed you the more important parts, but there actually is more to see. You're always welcome to come for a show around and we also do virtual show arounds and we would love to show you our school. Bye.